Right, I'm just going to do a quick talk about um, the new update that's coming out. So there's an update coming out. Um, the downtime. Uh, so the downtime lasts around three hours. I mean, it's, I'm talking about the PS4. I mean, it's coming tomorrow on the 18th. Today's the 17th as I'm making this video. So I'm not going to go over everything because it will be like an hour-long video of me just rambling. Um, but I'm going to talk about the key points and some kind of mainly for series. I would say so double experience you're going to get double experience when obviously the update drops this is from november uh, 17th to 25th so that's going to be pretty cool you're able to grind them certs if you haven't haven't got enough certs already i don't think you ever have enough certs in this game always buying something um, so you get to redeem a code nine years of planet side 2 now the codes never work on ps4 they Generally, you go into the decal section on your character and you just buy, you know, you just buy the decal for one cert. I think one time they did a mission where you could unlock it or something. or Something like that anyway. Um, I can't quite remember, but normally you go into the decal section and it's just there for one cert. So look around after the update drops and you'll be able to get it. They've also got a live stream on Twitch TV slash Planetside 2, November the 17th at 2 p.m. PST. So November the 17th um, is today, so I'm not sure when 2, 2 p.m. PST is EU time. I actually haven't worked it out. But yeah, if somebody does the math, let, let people know in the comments. Um, so you got here, you got new anniversary bundles. Now, the thing to take away from this is Meta um, LMGs have made their way into this year's mix. So you've got like reskins of meta LMGs. They're also adding new armors, it looks like. These are what you're gonna get. Actually look really nice. I mean, that looks amazing. I mean, they actually do need new skins because the old skins are pretty boring, if I'm honest. I have the Black Ops uh, skins and I think they look amazing. I would never change, I would never change them for anything else, but. I've had it a long time, but I just don't think some of the some of the skins are, are great. Like a lot of money for for some skins, and I don't think they even look that great. So it'd be nice to see more skins added, more helmets and stuff like that. I mean, even the commander's helmet. I've I've been wearing it a while now, and I get a bit bored of it. I feel like changing helmets, but it took me that long to get it. I don't want to like chuck it away. Honestly, we'll not chuck it away, but just not use it. So NS44A Mutiny, um, that's obviously a reskin. That's a reskin for that. That's that. Now, there's obviously different things in here. You can obviously read about it yourself. Um, I'll post. A, I'll put a link in the description of the video. But another thing is Gang Plank Camo, which is coming. It's like a wood effect camo. Um, it's going to look pretty sick. So that's going to be good. Um, you get the swashbuckler, uh, the cutlass is a stylist cosmetic. So yeah, it's just like a sword, I guess. It's a knife, but looks like a sword, honestly. Um, so that's going to be nice. Now, there's obviously bits and bobs here, Admiral, different stuff, but I'm not going to go into all that. I'm going to skip some of that. So you've got the campaign stuff here, Distant Shores. That's going to be a new campaign that's coming out. Now, the old campaign for Esamir, ne we never really finished it. Because a year and a half later, we're still kind of waiting. Now, they they have said down here that um, it says here, due to the hardware limitations, so I'm guessing like containment site stuff and um, other bits and bobs, they couldn't add it in. So what they're doing is, um, just to summarize, they're giving you, if you've done chapter one and two of the Esmir campaign, they're giving you chapter three for free. And they're giving you all the items that you would have missed if you didn't do chapter three. So they're just basically chucking them in and auto putting them on your character if you've done them. So that's pretty cool. Um, so obviously bringing in a new um, campaign called Distant Shores. Now it'll be interesting to see if you don't have to do this on the new continent. If you can actually complete it on all the continents, be a lot better, give people a chance to come on and... and try and do more stuff towards the campaign because I know last time it was like Esamir only and because 
the continents were changing every five hours, it was like hard to get the campaign done because some days you come on and the campaign wouldn't even come on. And I think they changed it where like, or was it population that ended up happening? I think we got like 350 pop because um, I think uh, Jenny Dine was getting DDoS or something. So we had, we had like a ton of pop and we were getting continent alerts start as soon as we enter the continent, which was great. But like, you couldn't even get half the stuff done within the hour that you, because you only had like an hour and a half. Sometimes 45 minutes. It was like that crazy. So you couldn't get everything done. So you're rushing to get the SMEA stuff done and it took forever, it seemed. But I mean, either so, the Distant Shores one is going to be good. It looks like it's going to be good. Um, I mean, they give us, they give us, they were saying here, they give us various like cosmetics, prototype vehicle configs will be available. So prototype vehicle configs and, and different things they give you in the campaign. So um, so one of the things they gave us last time was like um, a tool that it's like a tactical slot tool and you could resurrect vehicles. So if you found a dead prowler or like buried in the snow, you could resurrect it and get in it and use it as an NC. So you would have prowler, you would have an NC guy going around in a prowler. Um, same with all the other tanks. If you was VS, you could get a Vanguard, etc. That was just like something they did during the campaign. Um, but actually, the most annoying part, a lot of people actually missed it. Didn't do the campaign or whatever reason or turned up late. So they didn't manage to get it. So you would have to, you couldn't resurrect a tank and give it to your mate. He wouldn't be allowed to take it for some reason. Or I couldn't, I couldn't gift it to anyone in game. So it seemed to be bugged, I think. I don't really know, but... Either so, yeah, that's some of the stuff they did in the campaign, um, which was really good. So they got ASP2 here. Now, ASP1, if you don't know, is something that you get. So it says ASP2, so there's ASP1 and now ASP2. So ASP is something that you get when you reach level 100. You get a bunch of extra perks, like you could have shotgun secondary on an NG, LMG on an NG, SMG secondary on a, on a light salt, etc., you you have to really go and research that if you've not. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video, but we're getting an ASP2, looks like. So that's going to be cool. Um, so they're going to give us a bunch of new skills, it looks like. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see. Now, you have to pay 10k, by the way. So if you uh, didn't know, when you reach ASP, you have to pay 10k. Now, you have to pay another 10k to get ASP2. So that's ASP1 is 10k certs. To unlock ASP2 is 10k certs. If you have membership, this kind of it kind of voids paying 10k. You don't pay the 10k, you just automatically um, just can unlock it. So the biggest change here is continent cold tier will be locked, which is absolutely amazing. I know a lot of outfits were like we're leaving or we're changing server or whatever. Hopefully it will, you know make people come back which would be nice so we'll have to see there now um cold tier when cold tier was on people just didn't come on they were just not interested so that will bring not just outfit members but you know solo players might start coming back people were saying they can't use tanks etc so yeah um so these are a list of balance changes and bits and bobs now obviously the tr assault rifle is getting a balance change mg M M MC1, MGRC1 Charger, which is an NC Carbine, is getting a change. I'll let you read all about that. Um, so SMEA, so if you didn't know, they took SMEA out of rotation. This is because of the changes they were doing to it. Now, they've got hardware limitations, so they couldn't add it in, unfortunately. So SMEA now will correctly appear as locked. So before, it used to appear as open, and people used to get confused. I'm only talking about that because it's PS4 related, but you can read all the other stuff. Um, I'm not going to go into too much. I'll try and leave a link in the video. So just to just to summarize, so downtime will be tomorrow, not today, on the 18th of November at 8 a.m. PST. So downtime is expected to last around three hours. So they've got double experience for that particular day, which is going to be good. They've got commemorative decal. 
uh, decal, sorry, decal, decal, whatever. Now, if you go into um, if you go into the store, in, into the click on your character, you know, and go in and have a look. You should see it for one cert. So they've got a live stream today. I, I would check out the live stream. Um, it's on November seventeenth, which is today at two p.m. PST. Um, so nine years of Planet Side, obviously the decal. Um, get it for one cert on PS4. So unlock uh, anniversary bundles and all the rest of it. I'm not going to go into all that. They've got a new mahogany camo. What it looks like gangplank camo would affect bits and bobs. So for someone who's done the campaign, you're going to get the items that you needed that that you should have got like a year ago. So that's good. Um, ASP two's coming out. Beautiful. Should be good for players who haven't um, who have got you know ASP one hundred and are looking for something different. That's going to be sexy. Uh, so it says, yeah, members bypass the certification of costing the cost of activating ASP. So it's interesting. Visit my profile screen to reset your battle rank and unlock passive skills for your character. So ASP system becomes available for character who has hit at least battle rank 100. So interesting, interesting stuff. So we'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. I'll let you uh, browse over it, do what you got to do. But yeah, looks like it's going to be a good change. Looks like hopefully it'll bring some people back. And yeah, good stuff, man. Huh? So I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. And yeah, see you planet side.